Alright, uh, hello everyone. Um, I was gonna play episode 4, but then I found out that I already played it. So, those videos, the next step, episodes 1 to 3, and then episode 4 in a separate video, those will all go up before this one. Uh, this is episode 5. Uh, if you do not know what's happening, I highly suggest you watch the other episodes, although I'm sorry for the way I was reacting in my episode 1, 2, 3, and then episode 4 uh, videos. I'm sorry. I know that I was questioning way too much, but that's just what I do when I don't know, when I can't get anything, when I, like, when my brain doesn't want me to get what's happening. So yeah, let's go. So yeah, it was a day like any other day in the new world. Sarah and Izumi were eating breakfast together while conversing about kittens. Haruki was looking at cat pictures on the internet, wishing he had one. And Daisuke, well, Daisuke had his own intentions. He concluded that the Raven reality was like a dream, morale suicide. If only it were, if one were to live their life in a dream, they may as well be comatose. Actually, wasn't there a reality like this in which he killed his father? Where he genuinely had a mother and friends and relationships? What if the ultimate reality was just cognition? If he really was a dream for everyone involved, then he had to wake them up. Except that's not gonna work because it's not a dream. Unless it is a dream. Unless this whole thing was a dream. In which case, that would be a true twist. If everything that has happened so far, in different doors reversed, was a dream. If it was all a dream. That would be crazy. Good morning, Daisuke. Morning. I've got something to ask you. Oh? Hiro, do you remember when I found you coming for the first time? You were horrified that I seen you so vulnerable, but I hugged you and told you that everything would be okay. I've never cut... <sighs> okay, now this is a flashback! Get all it, it hurts. Then why are you doing it? I, I just wanted to, to, to feel something. Get all You must think I'm so pathetic. No, no. Shh. You're not pathetic at all. I think you're stronger than all of us. Hiro lifted his sleeve and whipped his eyes, careful not to use the wounded arm. Everyone else just thinks I'm weird. Why are you being so nice to me? Everyone thinks I'm a cocky brat. Yep, cast up the stick there, though, right? Aha, uh -huh, right. Let's get you cleaned up. Thank you, Dice Kid. I mean, Hiro is Yuri's brother, so... I... Wait, he has a memory of, uh, of the other... The other reality? Why? Why and how does he have memory of... There must be some, like, weird shit going on here. Well, it's like, oh, you know, like, even though the other reality got erased, he still has some memory because, you know, thing that happened, er, you know. Probably that. Probably that. I remember. Suspected something was wrong for a while, but I didn't want to believe. So he knows that something's up too. This world was perfect. I didn't feel any desire to harm myself, and you respect me still. But remember who I am. 
but I remember who I am. And I'll never forget again. To let go of my past is to force like the bond we built together. Everything we've been through since we met. I'm done of hanging my ass on the truth. What the hell is happening here? How do I don't know you know how we got here. This is loud! The loud noises. Oh my god, I gotta turn that down. Although I don't know exactly how we got here, I suspect a Tommy Monogard involved. It's a long story. Regardless of what we're up against, I know we'll get through it together. You two going with you, up, I'll wait for you. Yo, just Monica, welcome to the stream. Thanks. I'll do my best. I know you will. Hi, Daisu! This is gonna be difficult for him. Oh, yeah, that's right! That's right! Because in... In the other reality... If you guys don't know, in the other reality... Izumi witnessed, Izumi, saw, Izumi was the one that saw Sayori hanging. Oh fuck, what? Alright. Let's get this one with. But he's strong and all will be okay. Hey cutie, how's it going? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not cute. I know it's going great! No, I wish we were closer. We're, we're not close? We don't have time to be you, always with your sister. That's not true, series. Okay. So. I don't know why, but I do not feel comfortable voicing Izumi like this. I don't know why, I just, for some reason, I'm just, I'm just gonna read. this one are they also dating I I don't know who's dating who in this if it's Izu and Daisu or Hiroki and Daisu it's complicated it's complicated I don't know who's dating who in this one I'm assuming Hiro I'm assuming Daisu and Izumi are Still dating. So it's gone, isn't she? You helped me through it. You, you were by my side from then on, and we, we became inseparable. How could I forget what you did for me? I'm sorry, Daisu. I don't blame you at all. You're so kind. I, I knew that something wasn't right from the start. I had a nasty feeling by the time you went off house with Sideri, like I'd forgotten something important. It was so wonderful to have her around again that I ignored it. But I won't turn away anymore. This perfect world blended with my lies and made me weak. I already said goodbye to my sister, to cling to the past is foolish now. Every moment we spent together is a new memory. I'll never move forward if I keep looking back. Thank you for waiting until I was ready. You knew all along, didn't you? You were fighting against a delusion while I was just half having fun. 
I didn't want you to take your sunshine away. You didn't. Death took Sarah away. It wasn't your fault. And near my sunshine now. Yuzu. Is anyone else still stuck in the fake reality? Yes, I think there is. Then go and wake them. I'll be waiting for you. Thanks, Yuzu. Good luck! Indeed, there was one more person to save. Hopefully it wasn't too late for her. For her? Monica? Nice game. Holy shit! Her voice was monotone and not a flick of emotion of expression ever in him such sallow features. But else who's bored of me now, he, he wants to play with you instead. You, you should go to him. Your, your eyes. He didn't like the way I looked at him. I, I don't need to see, I just need to obey. You, you're blind? I kept running away. It was the best way to stop me. And you're here with us? Yes. I should have given up years ago. No, th this is not you. Mark I know wouldn't let him walk all over her. You hated the old me. I heard you. Things are better like this. What, so you just wait here for him to come and play with you? Come on, Mark, that's not right. I don't need to eat or drink or sleep. My only purpose is pleasing him. Ugh, you're making me sick. Snap out of it! We're never meant to be in anyone's possession. Make your own decisions. Choose your own path. We all know this is a game and you're supposed to be with the player. Let's not pretend I've been the dog the whole time. Can you remember everything you did to me? The coma dream where you locked Izu and I in the bed in school, screwing with our minds to make it think you were on our side, all the good girl nonsense. Aha, I saw that. From the start of different doors, you made us believe that you weren't the villain for once. You aided in our investigation, gave away for some witness, worked with your brother to find us. In fact, the only time you were canonically a villain was in behind closed doors, and that was replaced by my own series. We all worked together to take down the the finale of the first series because it wasn't the right thing to do. Didn't you end up fighting me and Yuzu? Yes. Didn't you enjoy collaborating with Iki and being a normal person? I suppose. Maybe my dream was the reality you wanted? Giving up your sentience in acting in the of justice? All of us working together as friends. You've accepted Marasu's reality because you still hate yourself for what you did, right? Because in this world, you've never hurt your friends. If you go back to the correct world, the one where Hiroki is a yandere, Tommy is a creamy old man, and you're just a regular student, you won't have done anything to hurt them there. They won't remember. You won't remember. It'll be as if it... Never happened. And Atami won't hurt you anymore. He'll still be my problem, but that's the same regardless of where we are. And locking him in the school work for a while. I know things weren't perfect there, but I want them back. I want the hero who has vampire films, cats, and likes to have late night conversations at the underpass. The Izu who's still so pure and innocent after all he's been through. The Icky I admire because he's strong and brave and such a brilliant leader. And the Monica who stuck around despite all the other girls leaving because she's some dude the right thing. But it was a dream I fabricated for you. It wasn't real. The world you knew wasn't real. Okay, the game locked up for whatever reason. Yo, Bun, thanks for the host. The only reality that exists is where you killed your father in self-defense. <laughs> if a Tommy of all people can write his own script, who says you can't? You're not just an editor of code anymore. You can create worlds. 
Why not make the Koma Dream World a reality? But, uh, let's pick up from before I get woken by Mr. Conscious voice who turns out to be a rookie, yeah? I can't. I always mess everything up. I'm not supposed to do anything except if you say Beamer off this toy, I will grab you by the shoulders and shake you. Surely, if you can kill the characters, you can also create a world where they can be happy? I was invested in a life, damn it. Thirteen episodes I spent in that world, only for you to wipe me up and tell me that it was fake. I feel like you owe me at this point. Take us back into that reality and make it real. Make it the only one. Let Natsuki be happy alone with Mama. I'll, I'll deal with the Tommy myself. I don't know how I'll get through it yet, but I can do anything with my friends by my side. That file has been overwritten. Even if I try to set things back to how they used to be, I won't be an Atami. It won't be a Tommy in that world. It'll be Morasu, and your father will be dead. What we do in one world ultimately affects the outcome of another. Dead, huh? How does he die in the Cone World? He starts to death after being locked in the Maiden School by his son. Oh, you know, that that seems fitting. I've already met my friends in that other world. They remember the coma dream? I, it was still a reality that it departed, I guess something would stick with you. Now open your eyes and be the monarch I know you're supposed to be. So, Bun, have you played this already? Because if you have, I have a question. That, okay, you have, that question is, how do the others still know about that coma dream world? The one in different doors. Like the original world in different doors and different doors demolished and... All that kind of stuff. Fluffy! What's going on? What's going on? What is going on? This, episode, this episode's pretty good. Um, It's all about, like, Daisuke waking up the other people. Although, the one question that I have is, how do they have knowledge of that coma world that was in different doors and different doors reversed? And different doors demolished? Yeah, I was asking Bun a question. I was asking Bun a question, Fluffy. So that's the only question that I have here. How do the others... Their code is back up there? Oh yeah, that's right, because the data get back, got backed up from... Don't mind me, I'm just being stupid. You know, that's clearly... That's clearly the right answer, I'm just being stupid, you know? And that's not me being sarcastic, I didn't think of that at all. Like, actually, didn't think of that. Now open your eyes and be the monarch I know you're supposed to. The one that cares about your club members will fight for just no matter what the cost and wouldn't even sell yourself with THINKING about it, Tommy. It doesn't have a- it doesn't actually have a reason, it just is. <laughs> nice. So it's just the way that it is, I guess. You sure can talk beautiful for someone so small. But you're right. This is my game and I make the rules. I'll take us back to the world I created. Then I'll give my then I'll give up my self-awareness and live the life the game should have given me. That's the spirit. I don't remember what the coma dream script is though. Do you? Different doors demolished, I think. I got a text from Hiroki to be at the underpass, and that's when he woke me up. So if I load the script from that and delete the length where you woke, and we can start there and make it real. Sounds good to me. Oh, but can you put Natsuki with Sarah and make sure we never met? Why? So that my Rossi doesn't have to leverage over me? 
I see. You have guns in your legs to protect the ones you care about, huh? You know what? If I do this, load D5 at 8. Failed. Player present. Uh, I can't do it while the player's here. Our main income stuff was definitely a new world that can overwrite itself. I was thinking DDT? DDT? Different doors triptych. Triptych? Uh, set up three associated artistic literary and musical works intended to be appreciated together? You, Azumi, and Hiroki. Let's face it, you three are the only main characters in the series. And you know what? That's okay. Gonna be honest, I'm kinda sick of the doors. But Triptych on its own sounds good. It's simple and memorable. Yeah, let's go with that. Yay! So I'll name the new world Triptych, and we can move there as soon as the player closes the game. Just to clarify before you do, here's what would be new. And Tommy died after you had locked him in a Geshi High. Okay. You live alone. I'm not self aware, and we'll forget all of this. Marasu will be a student out of school. He'll have retained his memories of everything that's happened so far, just like you do. Hiroki and Uzumi will also remember this world and all that unfolded in it. Things that'll stay the same. You, Hiroki, and Uzumi on a love triangle. Sayuri is dead, and Yuri doesn't like Hiroki. Iki and I fight occasionally, but we still get on. You attend an anime club, and I run a literature club. That's all I can think of right now. And Murasu? I don't know when he's gonna show up or what he's gonna do, but he'll definitely be there. I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. The game needs him in order to run. We'll deal with him when the time comes, then. Speaking of our... Our friend here. Speaking of Marasu, speak of the devil when he comes, holy shit. Hmm? What are you scheming over there? Ah! Sorry, I have to kick you out so I can let Noah before he gets you. Okay, bye! Bye, Monica. And the game's gonna crash.